Now we're going to ask the clerk of session, our brother George Anderson, and he's going to come and bring us a little thought in relation to the young people and the boys and girls. Well, it's good to see you all here this morning to talk to uh, the boys and girls and uh, the boys and girls at heart because uh, I love these little messages that uh, come and uh, we get good thoughts from them. But this morning, I want to tell you, I was in Belgium in 1972 and uh, we went over as a group from, I was at Bible, London Bible College and there was a group went over to do a mission. And uh, of course, uh, they're a bit awkward over there. They speak French, <laughs> they don't speak English. So uh, one of the things that I did, uh, I got myself uh, a New Testament in French, and uh, I was able to carry that about with me. Uh, the mission uh, was called La Bible Votre Busol, which means the Bible, your compass. And uh, the theme was then that the Bible will point you to uh, the Lord. And uh, some of the little, we, I have a couple of the stickers stuck on the back of this. You'll not be able to see them, but it says, Dieu n'est pas loin, which means God is not far, and Jésus est le chemin, which means Jesus is the way. Uh, so we were giving these out uh, round uh, the town of Cour saint etienne and uh, we were talking to the people there. We had a good time uh, talking round the doors, and in fact, at the meetings, uh, we got together as a choir and sung, uh, of course, in French, and uh, we had to uh, use the, the skills that we had learned. I only had O-level French, uh, and uh, it was still good enough to get past uh, but the main reason that I have this with me now is that uh, our family have taken to uh, learning languages. Uh, there's about four or five different languages being learned in our family at the minute on a little language app on the phone. Even my little granddaughter, uh, Ada, she's not five yet, and yet she's doing German. And uh, so there you are. You can uh, inspire you maybe to do uh, some language. <clears throat> but as I was learning the, the French again, I thought, well, it would be useful to have something to read uh, that I could expand my vocabulary and try to uh, express myself a little better. So I dug out this little New Testament uh, that I had uh, that I took with me to, to France. And, you know, as I was reading through it, uh, of course, I'm not fluent in French. And what I had to do was to get uh, a French dictionary and look up a lot of the words and uh, to be able to increase uh, my vocabulary and to find out what I was actually reading. And, uh, you know, it was good. And I, it made me think then about our own Bible. Whenever we're reading our own Bible, are there words that we find uh, are difficult? Uh, are there ideas that we come across that, well, we're not just too sure about? And uh, I wonder if that the same with you. Whenever you read through your Bible, uh, do you maybe skip some of the, the, the Old Testament chapters or books and uh, maybe avoid them or whatever? I don't know. But uh, I thought that uh, it's a good lesson because as I go through this, uh, I'm up to uh, the book of John at the minute and uh, I'm learning more French and I'm learning more vocabulary and I'm learning a little more about the Bible. And it's interesting some of the thoughts that I come across and reading it. Uh, so, you know, you're, you're not in, in bad company whenever you do that, because I'll just read a little verse here from Second Peter, the, the apostle Peter. He said, as also in his, that's Paul's epistles, speaking in them of these things, in which are some things hard to be understood. You know, so I thought, if I can't understand some of the things, if there's some of the words that are hard for me to, to take in, well, uh, I'm not in bad company because there we have uh, the Apostle Peter uh, is in the same boat as ourselves. So don't skip over these words or ideas. Uh, use a dictionary if you need to. Uh, ask mum and dad. Ask Reverend McLaughlin. Put him on the spot and uh, ask him about things that you maybe don't understand. And then in that way, you will expand your knowledge of the Bible. Uh, one other little thing just before I finish, uh, you might not be able to see that too clearly, but I was able to uh, get all the team 
uh, that were there in uh, Belgium with me to sign this for me. And uh, it's a, a little treasure for me. But it also made me think, you know, whenever I talk to someone and they tell me that they go to church, uh, I say to them, well, the most important thing is that your name is written in the Lamb's Book of Life. And these people here, they're written in the front of my testament, but uh, they are also written in the Lamb's Book of Life. So was your name written in the Lamb's Book of Life? And you'll find out by reading God's Word, and you'll find out by understanding it and getting it into your heart, because uh, the, you have to hide God's Word in your heart that you will not sin against Him. So I trust this morning, as you've uh, looked at this New Testament that I have here in French, that you'll start with uh, a new effort to read your Bible and try to understand it, and you will find the way to Him. Thank you. <laughs> 